Hey, Fred, you want to go taste some wine? Nah, I'd rather have a beer. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. That is right. So we're going down the row to the end of the lot here at Summer Crush. As you can see, there are, there are a lot of RVs here. They do have 28 spots. We are on spot 18, and they say to do 10 miles an hour going down the road. Fred said, slow it down. It's a little bumpy for your RV. They are back in sights. There are a few pull in sights, but we uh, ended up with a back in sight, so we unhooked Rocky. And this is what our site looks like. There are no hookups, but they're white. Here comes another fifth wheel. So big rigs can fit in here, little rigs, tents even. Hey, who, who are you calling little? Mm-hmm. Not us, but there's Rocky's plenty of room. big on the inside where it counts. Go ahead. Normally I wouldn't drive the short distance, but since we've been using the uh, RVI brake in here uh, all day, as long as we're driving down the road for supplemental braking, very nice. Uh, this is a little charge on the truck. The truck likes a little charge. More Doesn't everybody? Coming. There's more RVs coming in. Woo! Well, this place is like an RV park. What'd you say, 26 sites? 28. 28 Actually, sites? Yeah. They're growing. It was 26 when I got here. One of my favorite sports, watching people park the RVs. Man, she got a radio, telling them what to do. You know he's loving that. Well, gotta go. So they have a lot of rip lines. And they have a nursery over there. The wine tasting room at Summer Crush. They had some music, live music a few minutes ago, but I think it is done. So we are at 386 miles to Cuba, southernmost coastal vineyard and winery. Summer Crush Winery, Fort Pierce, Florida. There he goes. He forgot something. Staying overnight, you can rent this for $10 per night plus tax and firewood available for $10 per bundle. We have lots of events going on here. you can get to Cuban without stepping on foreign soil. We are entering into the area where they host live music, concerts, and events, so be sure to check their calendar. As you first come in, they have a photo op for you. We should have had Fred pose for us. There is a variety of seating outside. You can sip wine, listen to music, chat, or play one of the games they have. Inside the pavilion, you will find long boards as tabletops and decor that represents the owner, Gary Roberts, love of history and surfing. He started collecting surfboards and memorabilia in the early 1970s and now displays them throughout the winery. Seating is by reservation and the areas are numbered for you. They also have round top seating made out of wine barrels and a cute little bar in the corner of the room. In the center of the pavilion is a stage and around the area is a dance floor made out of bricks. You can wander out back behind the stage where you will find more seating and a beachfront area by the pond. However, beware of putting your feet in the water as there are snakes and gators, which is par for any Florida body of water. The dock is always appealing to walk out on and they even have seating there for you to enjoy your wine. The pontoon boat and palm trees give the area a little bit of extra island vibe.
Okay. I want to wine test. And what about? I want to wine test. What do you have? What's your wine testing? Well, you're just in time because you're about to start. Perfect. Ten dollars in this little plastic caster. Or two dollars extra. You get to have it in a glass. You get to keep your very own souvenir in one glass. I would love to do that, but we live in an RV and I'd probably break it. So plastic? Yeah. I'll be right behind you. Correct. You're belling up to the bar, dear. This is Beech Nut. It's our semi-sweet white. And it is white muscadine blended with Chardonnay. Our next one is our old Florida white. We do all processing and bottling here. Um, but later on, you will taste grapes that were grown right now. Marlin Monroe. It's a really cute label. I'll show it as I come around. I was looking at that one. It is our blush. 80% white muscadine, 20% red muscadine. And it's going to go all the way down the line for and just trade a little bit. That's cute. That is cute. That is cute. <laughs> yeah. So when you finish the Marlin, you flip the page over to get into the red. Yeah. And this one is rated R and get another really cute label. And this is our semi-sweet red. So this is red muscadine blended with a little bit of milk. Yeah, the harvest house. It's called um, Sugar Skin's Distillery. And on Fridays and Saturdays, they have more of like a band party. Oh, that's cute. It's cute. We hand harvest our drinks. Everybody loves it. Um, so it's pretty labor intensive. It's a labor of love. And that's why the batches are a bit smaller. Okay. So this is Florida White. 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 And this one was grown, grown here, right? Yes. Uh, I like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> cute. Wait, my turn. It's the same label as before. It just has a gold foil on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we're going to take a quick break from the alcohol. What? Only a quick break. We're going to try our grape juice. And as you can see, it still comes with this lovely wine bottle. It's great for um, hosting. If you have any um, party goers that don't drink, it's still a great combination. Now, um, this is, uh, again, muscadine. And muscadine grapes are the highest in antioxidants and resveratrol. So they are good for you. It is very sweet, but there's no sugar added. Sweetness comes from the grape itself. But I do recommend rinsing your glass before we go to the white grape juice, otherwise, you'll have to drink it. You're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> I don't mind. Why not? <laughs> that's what I do. I do. Why not? Yeah. I'm going to get a well, last drop of it. That's for if I don't like any wine, and that's not going to happen because even if I don't like it, I'll have one else. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to drink it. I'm getting a little water. Mm hmm. Water's good for you. Exactly. Thank well, you. People should drink more water. No, you drink more mm -hmm. beer. Water's healthier. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> Unless it's a Guinness. Then that's really out there. Guinness. Unless it's a Guinness. Thanks, Patty Days are coming. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And now it's our white muscadine grape juice. Yeah. And I like to say just because it doesn't come with alcohol doesn't mean you can't add alcohol. <laughs> yeah. They make great mixers. Oh, I know. Maybe them the pineapple yeah. ice. And now we have party weight pineapple. Mm, really love pineapple. Yeah, that's great. what you can mix up with your lemonade. Is that alcoholic? No, none. And white muscadine. I don't think so. Wait, it is, might. It is alcoholic. Oh, this is alcoholic? Uh, oh. Not grown on sun. Yeah. Okay. It's getting scotch. You'd probably love that. Horrible. <laughs> I love I do too. Oh my, I like love pineapple. Morning, I had pineapple uh -huh. Yeah, fi I have pineapple in the fridge too. You can mix that. Fortified with brandy. The other wines you've had were between 11 and 12 percent alcohol. This is 18 percent alcohol. Oh boy. You want to see that label? Oh, please. Looks really good. It's probably what I'm trying to So that's my favorite. Ooh, oh. Okay, I don't want to taste the wine, which is muscadine sweet wines. They do have some beer and sodas in here as well. 
time to get this party started. Fred is pulling up and I will pull the truck and match it to the tow bar and we will get it hooked up and head on down to a vegetable farm today which is another harvest host. Okay, sign of breaks. Time for me. Not sure what you use. We used to use a blue ox, but now we use a what? Roadmaster. So what are you plugging in now? Power for like the brake lights, parking lights, the turn signals, the emergency flashers, emergency breakaway cable, which goes to our RVI brake three. And then together we have the super hooks. A little bit oversized. <laughs> they're hard to get off because they're so big. We have to change them out. And they go just like that. And you just hook it each side. Mm -hmm. And easy peasy. And it disconnects pretty easy. Unless you jam it up. <clears throat> <laughs> so our truck is a four wheel drive. What I have to do is to put it in to four wheel towing mode. And the way I do that is I just turn the key all the way on, put my foot on the brake. This is our RVI brake. It's simple to use. All you have to do is hook it up to the brake and you just pull it up and over. Hook it onto the brake, plug it in. This is the cable that Fred made uh, uh, because ours is draining our battery or actually turning off and um, we had to hook up right. We had to hook up right to the battery. Ready to tow. All right, it's time for the Summer Crush Cellular Service Report. Well, surprise, surprise, Verizon is back at 88.6 down. Not bad. It's good to see Verizon pick itself up from the dust. Meanwhile, T-Mobile sitting pretty nicely at second, 52.9, MIPS down, and AT&T not too good, 12.3. All of them serviceable, but hey, go out, try some wine, dance a little, have some fun. You're at Summer Crush. Maybe you'll find one. 